O'Connell. And trying to spread it around, finds O'Connell to the middle of the field. Payne Durham, the 2017, decided to come back for his sixth season and begins the year for the first time in his career as the starter for this Purdue offense. He had to get... Of Maryland. Obviously oh, allowed to contact the defender until the ball's in flight. Defense. We'll have to see if, if he gets subbed in here throughout this afternoon. Swinging it out wide. Really need to get going more in this offense is Tyrone Tracy. He's a very versatile athlete and playmaker. He's just not seeing much chunk yardage. Third and four. Short yardage pass becomes a little bit longer than second most receptions on the team this year. Right behind Charlie Jones. O'Connell rolls out. Markaby, a 100-yard rush game against Minnesota last week. Bit more. You know, Charlie Jones, as we have mentioned, has been a, a prime target. Still looking for his first reception. It'll be Markaby. Picks up the first down, gets a little bit more of 20 times in the red zone. 17 of those for a touchdown. Looking for pay out here, but good coverage. Downing is back in. O'Connell looking for anyone. Now getting pressured, flushed out of the pocket. O'Connell looking for help and a release and has to toss it away. They went to a zone concept on the back end. It can be difficult at times to go cover four when you're down here in the red zone because you have to match up effectively to get the underneath coverage with eyes on Charlie Jones, and it puts the back end in a position that's converging, making it a much smaller window than you recognize. O'Connell, two throw, and checks it down to Downey. Downey. Line has juggled around, especially at the right tackle spot this year, and, and this game is no different. O'Connell is flushed out, had to throw it away for today. And the third right tackle that Purdue has used this season with no Cam Craig out for the majority of the game. Charlie Jones leads the Big Ten in, in receptions per game, but yet to catch a pass. Seven. But when your coverage is off this far, it's one of those. Second and seven. It caught off. It was deflected and into the arms there of Rice, who keeps going. It's an additional pass deflection for Jacorian Bennett because he drives on this route so exceptionally, can't come up. O'Connell, boot action. O'Connell will tuck and run. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was on the road in Madison last weekend. O'Connell. And just short of the goal line and pushed back by this mirror. Takes to down it. O'Connor looking for the end zone to the back. Like Loxley, of course, you know, being the, the recruiting mind and marketing mind, sent it to Creative Solutions, and there you go. DJ Kelly popping up on your social media thread. O'Connor with some time to throw and back shoulder. That's an impressive throw and catch to the back shoulder. We've been looking for T.J. Sheffield to emerge more and more, stumbles through the initial phase of Boilermaker passing attack that we're accustomed to. He's used seven different receivers, including this guy, and another first. This play action in the backfield here, it draws the defense in, draws their eyes. Payne Durham with patience leaks from that offensive line, from that point of attack position. Pay attention to the near side. Charlie Jones cutting across the middle, but pay attention to the back. Either a run blitz or a pass blitz with the way it times up. Barham working just through the outside shoulder of the offensive tackle and the defense line tackle where all run lanes were freed up. Ross of five, second and 15. O'Connell steps up. Whoever he's cutting after he starts with inside the tackle box. O'Connell, what a drive that he has engineered. Come right foot does tap down, and then the left foot may end up landing out of bounds. But as long as he's got possession, just away from being a perfect 5 0. Last second loss to Syracuse. Wrapped up the quarterback. And without having to blitz into the backfield. 
an offensive line and pass protection that's really effective to, to the wide side of the field. But T.J. Sheffield actually fell down again in his route. McConnell swings it out. And McConnell, the near side, looking for Charlie Jones. McConnell with pressure coming. He was looking for him. Chami's begun to show his presence. Darrell Chami off the edge. This time not against the tight end, against the offensive tackle. McConnell. O'Connell finding a level spin out of that Tyron Tracy Jr. In for 32. Ball out of the hand. O'Connell. Pressure coming. The ball is loose. Maryland passes on it. Maryland has a couple of different lineups they've had up front. They're moving over to the left tackle. Rockaby in motion to Joe. To 2021 to this year, leading the country. He's exceptional. O'Connell gets rid of it and finds his receiver trying to make his way to the net reception. It's a nice clean grab because Aiden O'Connell throws such a catchable ball. Excellent release by Rice, and then as soon as he breaks out of that cut, as he works towards the inside. The ball is just above the eyes of the wide receiver. We can go up and catch it cleanly. He's got four catches to lead all receivers today for Purdue. O'Connell airing it out, going for the end zone. The ball in flight. They took their shot on first down, brings up second down. O'Connell off the hands, it's picked off. In between Aiden O'Connell and Charlie Jones this season. Here, one of the rare times. For him here defensively as well, the leading tackler this year. For Maryland. McConnell picked up six yards. Pandora was a huge part of the passing attack early in the game, and Abel Connell's kind of gone away from him. Tonga Vailoa has used nine, 17 total between these two quarterbacks. O'Connell airs it out vertically. To each penalty. Helps out this Purdue offense as O'Connell swings it over again to Tyrone Tracy Jr. The ball is loose. It's juggling. Maryland says they interesting. This West Division has been of five teams in the West tied with a one and one division record coming into this weekend. O'Connell with some time to throw. He looks back. O'Connell didn't know what to do with it. Waiting for someone to get open. Tosses. This Maryland defense trying to shut him down. And O'Connor can't get away from trouble. Brought down. Do you understand why? We've seen it in pass coverage taking up space here as a pass rusher. Again, making an impact on this game. O'Connor airing it out. And now, second and ten. O'Connell finds Durham. That's the guy. Third and short. O'Connell, play action. Beautifully done. First down catch and pick up by me. We'll see on the edge, Devin Mockaby ends up picking up that edge defender just enough to get the hands down. That allows Aiden O'Connell to get it out of his hands. In the <laughs> Second and ten. O'Connell. And Perseri can have a huge impact on this game. Towards his left, Rice has it. Another first down for Purdue. McConnell. Shakes off some pressure. And has to tuck it. Brian Williams continues to mix up coverage responsibilities, especially here in the red zone. Once Aiden O'Connell begins to work towards the other side of the field. O'Connell to Sheffield. This is Purdue passing attack amongst the lowest in America as far as drop rate goes. You got guys who catch it well. You've got a quarterback who puts it right there on their numbers, right up. O'Connell surveying touchdown. Country as well, but matchup wise, today's game, it just makes that much more sense. This ends up being an angle route from your tight end.
the play clock at two. O'Connell trying to quarterback sneak. But he's got to be advantage because they have the lead here on the clock. And O'Connell.